Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, beautiful people. So this is going to be a uh, Taurus sun, Taurus moon, and uh, Taurus, uh, Taurus rising monthly tarot reading for August 2019. And uh, bear with me for just a second here to shuffle the uh, tarot cards. And we are to jump uh, straight away uh, to the spread. All right, so the first card which uh, represents Taurus topic for the month, uh, that is going to be uh, the Ten of Wands, followed by the next card which stands for the peripheral activities the Taurus can go for, should they decide to, all right, should they decide that it is, it's worth the hassle here, this is going to be the Tower card. Afterwards, what we do have it is the challenges that Taurus needs to overcome throughout the month, this will be the Wheel of Fortune. Followed by the positive aspect of the month or, you know, what is out there to help you. And we do have the High Priestess card. And then the last one, which stands for the guidance the Tarot is offering to you guys, we do have the Eight of Swords. Pretty interesting it is what we do have in this, uh, in this reading. It does look like that this... Um, Bond itself is going to be quite so far. I can't really quite classify it as a overwhelming, but it's definitely not the month where, uh, or it's not a, a efficient month for you to schedule your uh, your holidays. All right, there are going to be a lot of things that you will need to take care of uh, throughout the month, especially if that is related with your career. Let's say that you go on a holiday and every day and now people are going to call you from your office, begging you to solve certain issues. So it's not going to be much of a holiday that you're going to experience throughout the month. There are going to be shenanigans. This is what I'm trying to say. But before we go, um, and scrutinize the reading. Let's uh, look into the cards, run them down, run, rather, run them down one more time. So we do have the Ten of Wands as a topic, followed by the peripheral activities here, which is the Tower card. Afterwards, what we do have it is the uh, challenges that you need to overcome. This is going to be the Wheel of Fortune, followed by uh, the um, High Priestess, which stands for the for, for the positive aspect, and then the last one is going to be the Eight of Swords which is the guidance. All right, uh, so the Ten of Wands, uh, it does point the business that you are going to have throughout the month, either in regards to your career or either in regards to your relationship. There are to be, uh, how do I classify that, uh, restrictions, let's say. Uh, take it that way. It is like, you know, there are there, there is a plan already established and now you have to obey by the rules. I mean, there is no other way around it. Uh, but that doesn't mean that the month itself is not going to be productive in either way, career or relationship wise. It is just when we do have this card as a main topic, especially as a follow up of the next card of the next cards, excuse me. Uh, it's pretty much this, the, the scenery is set. I mean, the stage is set and now you have to play by the rules that probably you negotiated for yourself as well. Although the Ten of Wands, uh, it's a, a card which uh, exerts, how do I say it, power, right? So should you play by the rules, 
it is very likely that at the end you are going to end up in a, a very beneficial way or standpoint. So in another word said, should you, um, <laughs> how do I place it, you know, should you do what it takes, the success is going to be yours to reap. The accompanied card of the Ten of Wands here is going to be the King of uh, the King of Cups. One more confirmation that the that the stage is already set. I mean, with the King of Cups here to the Ten of Wands, which formation? It is a active enemies. Um, you already how can I describe it? You already have what you have to work with. All right. You if you are hoping that a new means or a new resources or something like is gonna come around to aid you in a certain way. It's not going to be the month of August, unfortunately, here with these cup of cards. And now the Wheel of Fortune in the third position, um, how do I place it, kind of makes much more sense with the appearance of the King of Cups here. One more thing I want to say about these cards is that should you wait, as are, are, if you are waiting for a certain confirmation or a proposition, let's say that you are... Um, applying for jobs all right and you are waiting for a call for a second interview in this kind of stuff with these couple of cards uh, unfortunately there is uh, things that you still are yet to prove so that approval can come around that regards either career and either relationship as well unfortunately so instead what you can do in a peripheral way meaning things which are not exactly substantial for the topic you know you can decide to go for it you can decide not to go for it uh, that depends on you you know but with the ten of ones it seems that the main topic itself is going to be quite preoccupying so the peripheral here it is the tower card I will draw prematurely one more card here that is going to be the Ace of Wands formation. It is a active supporters. So what these cards here point, guys, is that you are to you are gonna have a an opportunity to renovate a, a field of your life. Under renovation, I mean to strip it off and completely rebuild it. <clears throat> it could relate to renovating your house. You know, it could uh, relate, for example, to changing of your social circles as well. Or in general, it could relate to changing of a, a lifestyle that does not that doesn't have anything to do with the main situation of the month itself. These couple of cards here are pointing to a, a, a vast momentum, should they say it that way, which uh, <clears throat> in order for you to take advantage of a gaining for enterprises, which may appear throughout the month, you will have to undergo a, a very important drastic transformation in regards to your personal life, you know, a transformation which is to make you more suitable to take on this uh, on these enterprises. And just so you know what I'm talking about here, let's say that you are a person who plays bridge every Thursday evening, all right? But a, a show starts to run on TV in every Thursday evening. So and a show that is going to give you a, a great deal of, of knowledge. Let's say that you are a chef and a big name in the chefs is start running a cooking show in the Thursday evening. So that is a gaining for enterprise. You get a lot to learn from it. But you need to sacrifice the bridge thing, you know. So it's it's kind of like this thing. This is what I'm talking about. Stripping off, you know, your routine and rebuilding it once again. More suitable for the gaining for enterprises which are to come around in uh, the month of um, of August. Of course, they're not going to be a big deal for the time being. You know, I mean, is that they're not going to present you with results straight away. But they can definitely offer you an opportunities. Um, a long way down the road as if you invest into them accordingly. So that leads us to the third card, which speaks for the uh, challenges that you need to overcome throughout the month. And that is going to be the Wheel of Fortune. And unfortunately, <laughs> for the Wheel of Fortune in this position, the challenge itself, itself is to make a difference. Like we said, pretty much the stage is set, all right? And now you have to play by the rules. And changing those rules and making a difference in regards to those rules, it's unfortunately with this card, it seems that it's going to be utterly futile. So... I don't know how to... I don't know what to advise you here, guys. It's It's like... 
to me how it stands you know it's we do have a uh, um a sentence in our country the one uh one eats it, one eats the soap that one prepares right so you have prepared something and now you need to eat it swallow it and etc etc the accompanied card here is going to be the um Four of Wands, so Four of Wands pretty much seals the deal here. We do have an, an a, um, active supporters in a negative position. That's pretty, but it's not disturbing. What do you say um, when, so, when, when something is intense, all right? That, that will be pretty intense. Because uh, with the Four of Wands, it looks like that, uh, how do I describe it? I, it does look like that these uh, uh, that this stage, you know, these rules that you are to follow, it's not going to end up just in the month of August. I mean, you may desperately or frantically seek a closure to the situation, but uh, uh, when it seemingly things are putting into their end, something new is going to pop up from uh, seemingly out of nowhere that you need to deal with and then a new thing and then a new thing so it's going to be kind of like a string a chain of events that will lead you to a bit of an unknown direction which direction by the way at the end like i said with the ten of wands is going to be ultimately for your benefits you know but with these couple of cards it seems that only the strongest uh will have the how do I say it, you know, the drive to reach to the very end. So I do hope that you are quite of a, a strong Taurus, you know, and you do not bail out um, when you face a trifles. Which leads us to the next card, and that will be the High Priestess, which stands for the positive aspect. So a couple of things <clears throat> that the High Priestess here points, excuse me, guys. First of all is a, a deep understanding of one's ideals and as well um, one's drive. So pretty much you are to understand what motivates you and what makes you kicking. And uh, some of you probably is going to say to yourself, you know what the fuck he's talking about here. But you are going to be surprised how many people are dealing with stuff that they don't even know what made them deal with those stuff in the first place. It's like starting a war and down the uh, down the um down the road you already forgot what the war is is all about what started you know this war so uh this month you are to reach to some profound conclusion with conclusions with the high priestess and the very least you know you you will become aware where to draw to draw the line of your advance, of your conquest, you know, and uh, as well of, of how much you want, should I say it that way as well. Another thing with the High Priestess is that thankfully for you here, Taurus, it does counteract the, the uh, intensity of the Wheel of Fortune with the Four of Wands. Because no matter how intense the situation is going to be with the High Priestess, you are to remain very calm, cool, and as well in the same time... Um, well, how do you say it when someone is is doing what they're supposed to do without having a, a shred of doubt that this thing is uh, is actually gonna breed results? So what I mean here is that you are gonna have no doubt that your actions are effective actions throughout the months of uh, throughout the months of August. The accompanied card here is going to be the Six of Cups, formation, passive supporters. So it seems that the intensity is going to be short lasting. What I mean here is that only at the start you may really feel that pressure. But afterwards, the pressure is to transform into more um, exhilarating experiences. Because according to these cards, as soon as you reach to those profound understandings, you know, of, of, of what you are after, let's say that way, um, coping with the chores and coping with the responsibilities, which the very rules of the stage that you do set is going to uh, 
give you uh, exhilaration and enjoyment and pretty much you're gonna like what you are to do throughout the months of August. Just to give you an example, let's say that you are going on a, um, on a vacation somewhere, you know, on a holiday, people from your office start calling you and at the start you are very aggravated, you are annoyed that people were calling you to, to solve their issues, but then you realize that solving their issues is gonna give you a leverage in front of your boss to ask for a promotion, all right? So afterwards, setting aside that you are on a vacation, uh, actually or on a holiday you know actually these troubles or rather like plights that you are to resolve for your company uh, are gonna make you enjoy yourself because it is something that you like to do all right and finally at the end we do have the guidance here and that is going to be the eight of swords so the eight of swords correlates very well with the ten of wands and here points that um, should you accept the truth that there is well, maybe there is a way escape, escaping those rules and chain of events, you know, but there is a lot to sacrifice from it. Uh, should you accept that it is best for you to follow the game to its very end, all right, either a love game, you know, or a, a, a business game or something like this, <clears throat> that will set you free in a sense of that, you know, you are going to understand what your position is and as well what you need to do from now on otherwise you are only becoming a delusion or excuse me that um, there is a there is a possibility for a different outcome which there isn't okay so here the eight of swords points that if you if well that is something that i like to quote for the eight of swords if the um acceptance of the truth makes you free what then what the denial of it makes you right and then the next card is going to be uh the king of swords uh the very final card uh, formation it is a uh, active supporters we, we have quite of a, a lot a lot of supporters here so it's going to be really intense month and intense in the sense of activity not necessarily intense in a sense of pressure you know and um sense of emergency so <clears throat> with the king of swords here uh, as soon as you understand your position and what needs to be done you are going to become very analytical or rather like this is what the cards are advising you to put your brain your mentality into action through careful analysis of the situations either in regards to your career or either in regards to your marriage you know you're going to come up with a an addendum to the plan you know a, a stipulations let's say and amendments to the plan which are to prove to be very very effective all right and through that effectiveness of your actions you are to earn a, a great deal of respect and authority as well so it's it's a growth time for you guys I, at least for the way I see it, it's a, a time where you consolidate on your name, on your position, on your presence as well, proving yourself as an invaluable asset in, um, in regards to your career, you know, or proving yourself as a very responsible person in your marriage or into your relationship, being able to play by the rules that one alone accepted, okay? So yeah, that being said, um, this was your monthly tarot reading, Taurus, for August 2019. And I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other uh, next time. Until then, bye.